The Photos app can automatically recognize panorama and burst photos as they're imported. Both panoramas and bursts get their own album as well. Panoramas can be taken with an iPhone, iPad, and many other cameras by sweeping across the horizon. Here's a panorama taken with an iPhone. And here's one taken with my NEX Sony camera. Panoramas can be a great way to capture all of what you're seeing. And of any camera that I've worked with, the iPhone panorama mode is probably the best one. You can also take burst photos with an iPhone or iPad by holding down the shutter button. This results in several photos taken in quick succession. The burst album is automatically created in photos when any bursts are imported. When I view these, not all the images are displayed. I need to select a burst and click Make a Selection to view all the images within it. Bursts are really good for when you have a moving or fidgeting subject. I can browse through these to find one or two shots that I want to keep. Check the keepers and click Done. And now I can decide if I want to keep all the images in the burst or only the ones that I've selected. Keep only the selected ones, and all the other shots will be discarded. The burst is also removed from the burst album. The two photos that I kept will now reside in my library as standard images. So after importing bursts, it's a good idea to browse through them in the burst album here, and select images from each burst that you want to retain in your photo library.